today we need to pack <laughs> my little corner of the dining room filled with so much stuff right this bag should already have towels in it but i'm gonna go through them and organize them and then i think things like all my glasses are gonna go in this bag and i'll see where i go from there music youtube what am i feeling um i need to get my packing list up as well okay so i think we're gonna try and group stuff so towels and then glasses tupperware that kind of thing for kitchen i don't know if you can see this big box but that's all of my plates and bowls um and then all kind of like bed sheets cushions they can go together and i need to put the lamp over there back in its box i think we know what we're doing taking wine glasses to uni yes do i drink white wine weekly at the least yes like that i love the shape of them i'm particular about shapes of wine glasses because i'm strange they'll probably be broken within like two weeks but that's what christmas is for right <laughs> that really aggressively or anything. I'm surrounded by carnage. And I'm stressed about it. I'm trying to sort things into files. But I'm being overwhelmed. I don't like it. I'm not having fun. I am not having fun. The thing is, I know what I'm doing with skirts. I know the skirt. I know jeans. I know what I'm doing next when it gets to tops and dresses. And then what I want to take feels like too much. I don't know. I really don't know. Am I still stressed? Yes. Can I not find things I want? Yes. Actually getting somewhere with clothes being in, in a suitcase. To anyone who doesn't watch Red Table Talks, watch them because it's actually a, in lockdown, it actually helped me process a lot of my own emotions and um, ask myself questions, deep dive into my own mental, like, into my psyche and, and why I think the way I do and challenge my own behaviours. But aside from that, <laughs> it's about the only thing in the stress of packing keeping me sane right now. I'm calming down. I'm watching Jada's surprise 50th birthday celebration, the Red Table Talk. Um, and I just, I love it. These books somehow are fitting into these boxes. We try. We're leaving 
in the morning. Did I cry today? Yes. Did I pick up the last minute things I needed in Tesco? Yes. I'm still packing like just all my electronics and that kind of thing up and I look so tired. I woke up this morning already stressed. There's just anything that I can't pack till tomorrow now. I need to tidy up some of the carnage I've made while trying to pack but other than that we're almost good to go. It's very very weird. I've lived in this room for 19 years. I've never lived anywhere else. And yet I'm leaving for the first time. Also moving for the first time, stressful as hell. I can't imagine if I actually had to pack up all of this. Cause it still looks like a full room. Even though I'm not gonna be here, it's definitely home. I just think I'm going to be finding a new one as well. I'm not going to get soppy. I'm not going to get soppy. I am not being soppy. A little known fact about me is I'm dramatic. I like to do things in a sentimental, dramatic fashion. So I'm about to write letters to each of... This one's going to be for my sister. Then I'm going to write one to my parents. As a goodbye. As like a little... It'll be alright and thank you for everything you've done. I'm probably gonna cry. I just know these are some of the most important people in my life and one of the most important things I do is write. And I wanna find a way to, to let the people who matter the most know in the most me way possible that I love them and that I'm carrying them with me. This is going to be a long one. So we have multicolor paper. I'm moving. All packed up. All packed. Right. You can't really see where anything is. Suitcases are behind that. Books are behind it. And then we've taken stuff out. And kind of packed it in. Shoes and coats. All my plates and bowls. Damn. And even more stuff. Even more stuff. feeling better like seven hours in a car seven hours i have a little coffee thing really good and we're going into durham we're like 20 minutes outside of durham to get dinner i don't know how much people can hear so i'm trying to be quiet <laughs> have i put any makeup on no is it staying that way yes for today See, I'm wearing like, this capacity is kind of cute, but then I have a giant blue jumper I don't really want to wear Do I just get cold? I think I might do sincere apology to anyone who may be in this travel lodge who heard me trying my hair at 11pm 
Nothing here. I have pop chips. Went for dinner. It was lovely. Yeah. Just crying at the hotel room. I am just sat here doing my makeup like dead behind the eyes, just like. I'm not. And I'm moving in four hours, but I need coffee. Peggy kind of butchered that and looked tired as fuck, but we've tried. I have terrible lighting in this room, but we're going with it. So we've got outfit of the day. Big wild thought jumper that my sister and her boyfriend got for me with it's Hatfield themed, which is my college. Little Bershka blue top, black leggings, fluffy socks, and Doc Martens. Comfy. Okay, all my stuff, obvi. Mm -hmm. um, roommate side, and that will be my ensuite. I want to be nosy at what the ensuite's like. Not too bad, separate. We can get a bath mat. Mm -hmm. really abruptly end this vlog here. I'm midway through freshers. I've lost my voice. F feeling the freshers flu, but I'm all moved in. The room's already a bit of a mess, so at some point I'll have to tidy it and then show you. But what I post is always going to be what feels true to me. So at some points that might feel like a highlight reel and at some point that might feel like oversharing. I'm a queen of it, but I want to share these pieces of my life with you and also like I know I loved watching this content at the same time I also know that knowing other people feel the same way you do helps so we're all just trying to make it through we're all just trying to figure life out maybe we can do it together yeah like comment subscribe you know the drill and See you in my Freshers Week vlog that at some point will go up. Be lenient with me. Freshers Week. Getting into the swing of uni, it's a lot. But hopefully we'll be sorted soon. Cheers.